Hey entrepreneurs, this week I want to challenge you to take advantage of your brain's tendency to do better with decisions that are all or nothing instead of decisions that involve moderation. So for example, if you're the kind of person that does better with, with complete fasting two days a week than you do with caloric restriction kind of across two months, then pay attention. This, this video might help you out with your productivity. So if you're the kind of person that does better with swearing off dessert completely, instead of just saying, well, sometimes desserts are okay and sometimes they're not, I'll decide kind of in the moment, then we wanna take advantage of that. If you're in that camp, if that's the way you're wired to where you do better if you just make one decision and then you don't have to keep remaking that same decision over and over again. So time boxing, an excellent place for us to apply that. If that's the nature of how you react to things, you might say, you know, time boxing is too extreme. Nobody who actually runs a business can be that militant and focused. And so I have to be, I have to be a little bit more flexible with my team and with my customers and with what random things come up. Fires that sometimes have to be put out. And it's not just because I'm being reactive and failing to think ahead. It's because, no, I really do have to deal with that or else I, I burn down a lot of the progress I've made. So if that's your reality, you might have the tendency to say, I tried time boxing, it didn't work and have the all or nothing way of looking at it. And so here's my challenge to you. What if we take that same concept and we just apply it in a smaller way? In the same way that you might say, instead of caloric restriction, instead of saying, I'm gonna completely fast and, or, or I'm gonna eat like a glutton. What if we just said, we're gonna cut out dessert and we're just gonna be militant about that one aspect. So if we apply that to the idea of time boxing, it could look like this. What if the first hour of each day, or what if the last hour of each day was reserved completely for you to focus on one long-term activity? So the question we're always asking in this productivity process is how far-sighted can you be? Because generally most, most productivity comes down to making decisions that allow you to look further into the future and thereby take advantage of the fact that an investment now that saves you time in the future can potentially pay you back in dividends of time saving for years and years to come. And so that's a compounding effect. If you keep spending a little bit of your day working on activities that buy back your own time, then gradually your capacity to produce and get things done expands, right? As you rely less on your own personal time. So we're looking for those opportunities and time boxing, whether you're using it for that particular kind of opportunity or whether you're just gonna use it to make sure you're moving the needle on the most important project instead of just being reactive all day to your team. That's the goal, right? So a lot of people say, yeah, I, I understand being farsighted and a lot of us naturally are farsighted when we make decisions when we decide how to allocate our time and our, our attention we're naturally farsighted but the problem is that what happens is when life actually starts then we become reactive so when we're sitting and sipping a cup, cup of tea and we're pondering our life and our approach to work we tend to be farsighted when we sit down at the computer and there's messages coming in from slack and the phone's ringing and there's problems coming up from all of these th things pinging for your attention, that's where we tend to become more reactive. So that's why time boxing helps, where you say, there's this period of time where I turn off notifications, where I'm essentially unreachable, unless it's under certain circumstances that you've pre-agreed with your staff. Like you have my text and only use my, my uh, phone or only use this phone to text me if it's one of these kinds of emergencies. Or of course you can set up automations in something like Slack to where if, if they use the word urgent or um, emergency, then it pings through, it goes, it pushes past your, your blocked, your snooze notifications. Be careful with that though, because a lot of times what people say is it's not urgent, but so when choosing those, those keywords, make sure you use one that is unique. Come up with something random and different so that they know to use that keyword and they're unlikely to use it in, in other circumstances. So what we want to do then is take one hour per day and just time box that one hour for your long term project. So what we're going to do is we're going to be militant, we're going to be all or nothing about that one hour. And then over time, you might decide to expand that to 90 minutes or two hours or four hours on a Tuesday morning and four hours on a Thursday afternoon. What's going to happen over time is that you're going to start to realize you like that and you're going to want to expand the, the amount of time that you spend in that time boxed focus mode where your your attention isn't split across multiple things and you're not being distracted instead you're focused on just the one thing and that allows that flow state to emerge so what we're doing here is taking advantage of that all or nothing tendency that some of us do better with so if that's you my challenge for you this week is just to 
choose one time, one hour per day, when you can tell your, your staff, you can tell your customers, you can tell your team, I'm not available during this, this time. This is a focus block that I reserve for getting more out of myself for these projects that really matter. And, and then hopefully you'll expand that over time, but just start small because any habit like this that's difficult to start, you'll do better if you start small and succeed and start to get the results and the rewards from that than you will if you try to push yourself to do incredible feats right from the start and then feel overwhelmed by it and your systems can't adjust quickly enough. So start small, but be all or nothing with it. And then we'll expand from there. Talk to you next week.